channel. My name is Stephanie for those who are joining me today. And today's video is what I like to call a super major haul. I did a lot of shopping for the last few weeks. As you guys know, Sephora is having or was having their um, annual VIB sale. So I did pick up a few things from there. Also, Ulta was having a sale. I did hop on a few other websites and picked up a few other things that I've been eyeing for a little bit now and I wanted to try out. So yeah, if you guys want to see what I hauled, you guys know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's jump right in. I don't know if I want to start with skincare, whatever. So you know what? I'm just going to start with everything that I have in front of me. I have a few things behind me, um, but I do have some drugstore um, items in front of me right now. So let's dig into the drugstore products. So the first thing I picked up is from elf This is the cream contouring palette as you guys know I love to cream contour and I do have a favorite of mine from wet and wild But I wanted to try out a different cream product and see if it was something else that I may like So I was just curious to see what else the drugstore had to offer as far as cream contouring or bronzing goes so i decided to pick this up so the next product from elf i picked up is the lip exfoliator in brown sugar i already tried this out this is really really nice i've had i've used um lip exfoliators that came in like a little jar but those literally get everywhere you try to apply it on your lips it gets everywhere but on your lips so i decided to try out something that came in more like a lipstick form so this was really nice when i tried it out it really did exfoliate my lips really nicely it left my lips very soft and moisturized at the end as well and yeah i really do like this just for that reason just to really kind of just exfoliate in between makeup for skincare anything like that this is really really good and i also picked up their lip lacquer as well it's just a clear lip gloss i heard this is really nice just to have at hand and you can never go wrong with a clear gloss and also for glosses i also picked up the milani keep it full nourishing lip plumper in the shade luminoso because i do love the luminoso blush the shade is really pretty and i thought this lip color was really pretty as well so i decided to pick this up and also from milani i picked up the blossom time rose blush and it's just your nude shade blush it's really really pretty and I love the embossment. It's super, super pretty. And the next thing I picked up are these Kiss Lash Glue Liners. I picked up the black shade and I picked up the clear one. I heard these are really nice and innovative. It makes it easier to apply your lashes. The black one works just like a wing liner would. You would draw on your wing and as soon as you're done with your wing you just pop on your lashes you don't have to wait for anything to dry or to set it's really easy so i heard and the clear one i've used already just to try it out and it really did um adhere my lashes just like the kiss lash adhesive so it's pretty much the same thing just in a pen form and i find that that's easier in some cases you know especially if you are in a rush you're working you're trying to get out the door this is really easy just to apply and pop on your lashes and keep it going so the last thing i picked up were literally on my way to the cashier you know how they have like a little gift area where they have like little lotions little gift sets little bundles things that you can kind of gift or throw in like a stuff a stocking stuffer so i passed by that aisle huge mistake so i picked up the profusion mini lip lip gloss and matte lip Lipstick in the shade nude so basically it brings two glosses and a matte lipstick in here so I thought that was really cute. and I thought it was really cute to the packaging you know it's like a little ornament you can pop it on your tree gift it to someone it's so cute and I really want to try it so why not pick it up and it was only three dollars so basically a dollar gloss not bad and then the last thing from the drugstore that I picked up is the profusion nine shade eyeshadow palette in the shade glam this was really cute not that i need any more eyeshadows but this was super cute these shades were really up my alley and there were screaming fall winter vibes like these greens and gold tones were just screaming my name 
and not to mention that this was the last palette on the display they had another palette that was gray and it said something else i forgot what it said i think it said arctic something but it wasn't really like screaming to me the way this one was and when i saw that this one was the last one i was like okay well everybody must really like this one so i just grabbed it and it was only ten dollars not bad you know for a little eyeshadow so that is it for my drugstore products now let's pick out one of these boxes behind me and start digging into them so here is my box and this is my ulta order so everything i picked up from ulta is in here and it's pretty packed in here so let's dig right in so the first thing i picked up from ulta is the ordinary full coverage foundation in the shade 30y this is i guess one of the ordinary's newest releases so i was curious to try i do um use a lot of the ordinary skincare products so when i saw that they came out with a foundation i was so curious to try it so um i decided to pick this up it's really nice and what i noticed is that the difference between this and the actual skincare is that the skincare comes in a glass bottle and this is plastic so I do like that because it makes it nice for traveling so the next thing in here is the morphe micro brow pencil in the shade Gava. I decided to pick this up because Leslie Marie raves about this brow pencil so much and you guys know I am currently running through all the brow products in my drawer I only have like maybe two or three brow products in there so of course I needed a restock on some brow products so I decided to try something new so I picked this up as well so I'm not going in any particular order by the way I'm just grabbing what's in my box right in front of me so the next thing is the Milani fruit fetish lip balm in the scent pumpkin spice so i do have the um strawberry lemonade scent but i decided to pick this up especially for the fall winter vibes this is so nice i did smell it and it smells very sweet but i really want to apply it on my lips and see how it smells if it really does smell like um pumpkin spice here is the wet and wild halo blush lighter I was gonna say blush highlighter but it says blush lighter in the shade I met someone and it looks like this it's super pretty not that I need another highlight you guys know but I decided to pick this up and a quick little tea on this um, I believe they changed the name on this highlight this highlight used to be called after sex glow but they renamed it and named it I met someone so if you're looking for the after sex glow highlighter and you cannot find it it's because it's been renamed and it's now called i met someone so i don't know why they changed it but they did and when i placed my order on ulta i it said after sex glow and when i got it it said i met someone so i thought that they sent me the wrong shade but doing a little bit more review come to find out that it is the same highlight it's just been renamed so yeah that is the spiel on that the next thing i got here is a part of the hocus pocus collection i did pick this up off of ulta um it sold out on color pops website i wasn't able to get my hands on it then but luckily i was able to get my hands on both of these products on Ulta's website. So the first thing is the Hocus Pocus Flirty Witch um, Faux Lashes. It's so cute. These lashes, there was three styles, but out of all three, these were just my vibe. So luckily I got my hands on these and the packaging is super cute. I'm gonna keep this literally like forever. I love Hocus Pocus. I know Halloween is over, but you know, I had to get my hands on these um and the palette as well this is the gather around sisters palette you guys know i am a complete sucker for packaging i am obsessed with beautiful packaging details in packaging so this is what the palette looks like in the front it's so stinking cute i am obsessed and this is the back with the shade names and this is what it looks like in the inside i'm pretty sure you guys seen it a million trillion times already um but of course this is 
the way my palette looks. It's super pretty. It's got the sisters right in there. And these shades are perfection for fall winter time. Love these tones, these greens, these berry tones, neutrals. I am obsessed. I can't wait to play with this palette. And the next thing in here is another eyeshadow palette. Are you guys surprised? You guys know I love palettes. But this is the LA Girl Keep It Playful eyeshadow palette in the style for play. It's super pretty. Like, look at these tones. They're so up my alley. Nice warm shades, some shimmer shades. I am obsessed. I can't wait to play with these palettes. Like, I literally cannot. And the other palette I picked up in here is also by LA Girl. This is the Break Free palette in the shade This Is Me. So, as you can see, it's just kind of like the butterflies move. Super cute. I love this. And this is what the palette looks like look at these shades aren't they cute and i don't have a palette like this with these tones in it so this is why i decided to pick this one up because i just couldn't resist super super pretty like oh my goodness and i don't have any la girl shadows or eyeshadow palette so i'm curious to see how that formula works out and if it's any good i'll let you guys know and I will be doing a tutorial with all these products eventually. Just keep an eye out for that. So the next thing in here are the LA Girl Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliners. These are so cute. When I seen these, I was like, oh my god, I have to get them. You guys know that I am obsessed with ColourPop creme gel eyeliners those are my absolute favorite favorite eyeliners of all time but when i saw these they kind of reminded me of that so i was curious so i just picked up four of them i got the shade lavender marshmallow so this is lavender and marshmallow i got the shade baby pink and powder blue so these were the four shades i picked up can't wait to try these and see if they are anything like the ColourPop ones. And then I also picked up this Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in the shade Deeply Intoxicating. So it's just basically a brown tone lip liner. You guys know I'm a sucker for brown shades. And then the next thing I got in here is the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment in the shade white. So I do have some foundations in my collection that are a tad bit too dark for me, but they're really good foundations and I obviously don't want to get rid of them because I know there's ways of fixing the issue. You can always mix a lighter tone foundation into the product, but I decided to try this as well. I heard a lot of reviews on this product and i heard it was good so decided to try it out the last two things in here are basically lip products so i picked up the morphe prep polish lip scrub in the shade sweet lips so um you guys know i picked up the elf ex lip exfoliator and i saw that morphe had one as well so i said why not try that and so this is what it looks like the packaging is super cute and this is what the product looks like inside. So it's just basically a lip exfoliator in lipstick form. So I can't wait to try this. I can't wait. And the next thing I picked up is the Kylie Jenner Plumping Gloss in the shade Bubbly. You guys know I'm a complete sucker for packaging. And this is so cute. I love the little baby pink with the little kisses on it. It's so cute. I love and this is what the product looks like inside like tell me that lip gloss isn't everything that shade is so cute i had to pick it up so that is everything from ulta let's move on to the products i picked up from juno and co's website i've been hearing a lot of great things about juno and co's moonshine miracle cream and you guys know there goes my curiosity again so I decided to jump on Juno & Co's website and pick that up. And while I was there, I did um, browse a little bit to see what else they had to offer. So I did pick up two other things. But jumping into the Juno & Co Moonshine Cream, this is what it looks like. Guys, no, like, 
do I have to stress how much I love beautiful packaging? Like, hello, look at this. This is so pretty. So it looks like this. And then these sleeves come off like this. And the product opens up like this. So you open up the product like this. And when you open it, on the top it says, you got it going on. And then right here it says, close your eyes and make a wish. And when you open it, it says, baby, you're a star. And then open it all the way up. And here is your product. Like, look how cute that is. Oh, I don't want to drop it. But it looks so cute. And then the actual product, it looks like a little spaceship or something. And it's so pretty. It's like a plum purple with like glitter in it. It's so pretty. I'm such a sucker for it. Like, it's so cute. And it just looks like that. I can't wait to try it. Like I said, I heard so much about this product, so I had to pick it up. And then, like I said, while I was there, I did see that they have a highlighter. So, there I go, picking up something I don't need. I have enough highlighters, but you guys know that's literally one of my favorite things is a highlight. So, this is the Juno & Co. Moon Beam Highlighter in the shade Glisten. So, yeah, I had to. I just had to. And this is what it looks like. It's super cute. Like, I love this packaging as well. And this is what the highlight looks like. Super, super pretty. I am going to be doing a get ready with me testing out drugstore and high-end makeup. I probably will film two separate videos. One being testing out high-end makeup and the other one being testing out drugstore makeup. So I will definitely be doing that for you guys. And the next thing I picked up from Juno & Co. is their them is the Perfectionist Sculpting Palette in Bombshell. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just beautiful pink. You guys know, love pink. And this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. Like, hello. And it just says Bombshell Perfectionist on the front. And this is what the product looks like in the inside. Tell me that is not pretty. So I'm assuming these are two blushes. Well, I'm assuming this one is a blush. This is obviously a blush. But this is like a unique blush that I've never seen before. So I'm curious to try this. Another blush shade, a highlight shade, and a bronzy contouring shade. So yeah, it's super, super pretty. I picked, I believe they had two different palettes to choose from, this being one of them. And out of the two, this one just sparked my attention more, especially because of this shade right here. So yeah, I decided to pick this one up. So that was everything I picked up from Juno & Co. I did hop on to Il Maquillage's website right after that because once again, there goes my curiosity running amok. So I picked up the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation. It looks like this. The packaging is super, super pretty as well. It lifts up like hello. Cannot. And this is the product right here. I got mine in the shade 155. I did try this foundation already out once and I really, really do like it. It leaves my skin looking really, really nice flawless just like it says obsessed with this and i also got the il maquillage ink liner in the shade black so it's your basic eye black eyeliner so you know can't wait to try that because you guys know i love me a nice wing and i hope it's matte because i love a matte wing so that is everything i picked up from juno and co and il maquillage so let's jump into the Sephora boxes. The first thing I picked up from Sephora is obviously not in this box right now because it is connected and it's hooked up. But I will insert a clip of the mini fridge. I picked up the Sephora mini skincare fridge. It's in the shade pink, of course, because you guys know I'm obsessed. So I decided to pick it up because I've been eyeing the mini fridge for a while now. Um, I've been seeing a lot of reviews on just having a mini fridge for your skincare anyways i heard a lot of different things about applying your skincare cold and the benefits of you know having 
cold skincare applied to your face obviously it feels very good it's refreshing it wakens up your skin of course i have tons of skincare sam's creams and all that stuff so i decided to buy a skincare fridge so i can put all those products in there and just see if it makes a difference when you apply your skincare cold versus room temperature if that makes sense i thought it was going to be bigger than what it was but it's it's a bit small hence mini fridge but it's still really nice it does fit quite a bit of product in there it does fit all my skincare really nicely right now for the moment um yeah so i just have my skincare in there my serums my jade roller everything in there i have a few sheet masks in there so just things that i want to apply to my face cold to feel refreshed to waken up my skin i have it in there right now so here is the other sephora box as you guys can see it is huge okay now that i have everything out of the box the first two items i picked up from the vib sale are both from rare beauty i picked up the best of rare beauty lip and cheek two-piece mini duo and i also picked up a full-size soft pinch dewy liquid blush in the shade joy i don't have anything from rare beauty but this is literally like one of the first things i heard from their brand that was super super good was the liquid blush so i decided to pick up the shade joy which was highly raved about and in the little trio it comes a little mini liquid blush and also their lip balm so look how small this blush is compared to this one like <laughs> Oh my goodness but this one is in joy and this one is in the shade bliss so these are super super cute and then I also got the dewy lip balm in the shade thankful look how cute that is that's also very small but hey you know if you want to try something out I suggest always going small just in case it doesn't work out but this is what the shade looks like super cute can't wait to try this. You guys know I'm a sucker for little minis. Like, I love mini products. I also picked up the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 2.5W. Um, not that I need a new concealer, but I'm always in the market for a nice full coverage concealer because I do suffer from dark circles. So I decided to pick this up. And also, this is highly raved. So... I also picked up the Sephora Micro Smooth Face Powder in the shade Medium. Looks like this. Haven't tested it out yet, but it looks like it's nice and it's also really raved about as well. Also, I picked up Sephora's favorite makeup must-have. This is really, really nice because it just has everything, a little bit of everything in here. So it brings the nars full size blush in the shade orgasm it brings a little kvd beauty tattoo eyeliner it brings a full size anastasia beverly hills brow with pencil it brings a little mini all-nighter spray by urban decay it brings a travel size smashbox photo focus or photo finish primer it brings a full-size Huda Beauty lipstick. Like, come on, that's dope. And also a full-size Marc Jacobs mascara. And then a travel-size Too Faced Peach Perfect Loose Setting Powder. So, like, come on now. This is so cute. And then, look, it just pulls out like a little drawer. Just like that. And these are the products right in there. And you can just pop this right back in and slide it right down like that is so cute i love this so much for skincare the glow recipe glowing skin trio so this is what it looks like right here it brings the blueberry bouncing gentle cleanser it brings the avocado melt retinol eye sleeping mask and also the banana souffle moisturizing cream 
right here and a little scooper spoon right here as well so i thought this was really really nice i do own a few of glow recipes products their mist their um watermelon sleeping mask is literally one of my favorites i have a mini moisturizer from them i did want to try out a few other things from them but me, because my skin is very sensitive and I break out literally off of anything, I have to be very careful on what I use on my face. So the best way for me to try out a product and really know if it's going to work for me is by purchasing a mini size or travel size um, to test it out before I commit to a full size bottle. Especially when it's more of a pricier item. I don't want to spend my full coin and not be happy with it so i'd rather invest in something small see if it works out and if it doesn't hey it's good because i didn't you know invest the full coin in it so this was really nice i wanted to try it out so i decided to pick this up and it's a really nice gift set as well if you want to gift this to someone a friend a family member like it's just amazing so i like that as well and then getting into my little testers because you guys know i like to pick up little testers on my way out um so the first tester i picked up is the liquid touch brightening concealer from rare beauty so it just has six shades in here and I heard a lot about the foundation and the concealer. So this is a nice way to me to test out the concealer and see if I really do like it. So I got this in there. Also, I got the Beauty Blender Sample Foam. I'm not sure what kind of gimmick this is, but I'm curious to see how this works. This is from the Beauty Blender. And also, I got a little mini Bite Beauty Change Maker skin optimizing primer so it looks like this it's really small it's a little mini and you guys know i love me a nice little mini to test out so that's what that looks like and the last two things i got are from milk makeup i got the lip and cheek cream blush in the shade work you can use this on your cheeks and on your lips and i also picked up the kush mascara as well so yeah that came in a little duo so that is it for my haul it was pretty much a little bit of everything some drugstores some high-end products some skincare a little bit of everything i hope you guys enjoyed remember i will be doing two separate videos testing out drugstore makeup and the other testing out high-end makeup so i will be putting all these products to the test for you guys so stay tuned for those videos and yeah, let me know if you guys participated in the VIB. So if you did, what did you get? You know, I'm nosy. Um, did you guys get some of these products? Let me know. Let's conversate in the comments below. You know, I like chatting with you guys. And yeah, if you didn't already subscribe to my channel, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.